Well, there are still a lot of unanswered questions surrounding the escape of convicted killer Danilo Cavalcante. Well, people are, you know, understandably worried. He mm -hmm. was on the run for two weeks, and schools had to be closed, and people were afraid to let their children be outside. So there he is being brought back into custody when he was finally caught. So tonight there are going to be meetings on this, two big town halls to say we're taking some action, and we're going to do that now. So our Chester County Commissioner Chair, Marion Mikowski, joins us right now. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Okay, so at least tell us. The wall, the roof of the building where he escaped, is now fixed. Yes, we have put a, a wire mesh a security, like a chain link fence, a small links over the roof. So that is uh, what we have done for the moment. And that's uh, where he crawled up. I think we have, we've shown the video a thousand times. Yes. He's crawling up this wall here, which is uh, quite acrobatic. So how have you fixed it? So the prison officials put a, uh, they had put in a, this fencing over the top. So um, they basically capped it with the fence they on the top. They capped it, yes. Uh, it's a temporary measure. And we, the commissioners, approved last week in a contract for Trans Systems, which is a prison uh, builder and designer, and they're going to come in and enclose the outdoor enclose exercise okay. areas, just enclose it. As our permanent fix. So this That's is the, correct. the temporary fix is like the, the cap on top of it and, you know, in addition to the razor wire and the That's other correct. things as well. That's correct. How about in terms of, you know, we have such a staffing crisis. What are we going to do with the prison guards and surveillance there at the prison? So the, the prison officials and the acting warden have been working on that and they have uh, some new appli applicants that uh, we believe will be successful. We're all trying throughout the country, trying to find. Uh, how big is the shortage? It's, uh, well, it depends on how many people you have, how right. many inmates you have in there. But we're about 21, 22, short. Short, 22 guards short. Yes, we have about That's 650 inmates there. So you're adding, you will be adding more guards, yes, more. we'll be adding more cameras. Yes, so the prison officials have added more cameras. There were at cameras added prior to this along with the razor wire but they've added even more they are they are staffed for these exercise uh, facilities now at the yards they have somebody on the roof they have changed location of the correction facilities outside while the inmates are outside where you have in that town hall there's gonna be a lot of people show up the cops in elementary school okay. yes and also, I mean, it can be traumatic. I mean, to have all those conversations sure. with the children, you guys are going to be offering some, like, counseling as well? Right. We have some uh, trauma counselors that are going to be there to help anyone that is struggling with anxiety or any kind of emotional dealings with uh, because of this. Do you think there's going to be such a big turnout? You're going to do it two times? We're going to do it twice. We're going to leave it open two nights, Monday night and Wednesday night. And we hope to uh, educate the community on what the prison officials have done and will do as well as have our emergency services department there uh, the county has an extensive emergency services department and part of the issue we want to stress is how you opt in mm -hmm. to ready let's, chesco let's put it up so what, this thing's called ready chesco yes. so you will have to sign up for it that's correct everybody uh, in all counties have a different name for there it, it is. but it's very important that people sign up uh, and opt in. A lot of people opt out because they get a lot of varying messages, yeah. but there is a way to not have all those uh, township meetings and things like that. No, people were shaken by this. There's no question about it. It went on for two weeks, so that's one of the biggest jobs tonight and Wednesday night is make them feel a little safe. Sure, we want our residents to feel yeah. secure, and, uh, and we are all, the prison officials, our emergency responders, our counselors that are coming, and the commissioners are going to do everything we can to make them feel secure. Absolutely. Good luck tonight. Thank you very much.